So today, we're going to be checking out the Battle of Jakku DLC here on the PlayStation 4. And the reason I'm making this video is because it is the worldwide release of the Jakku DLC today. For those who pre-ordered, they got the game on the 1st of December. And for those who didn't pre-order, you're getting it today, December the 8th. Last week, I posted an initial impressions video of the Jakku DLC. Again, I was playing on the PlayStation 4 there, and that was footage taken directly from the Battle of Jakku Live at London event that happened last week for the launch of the DLC. And having only played about an hour, an hour and a half of the DLC at that point, I was actually very, very impressed, especially with the larger map called Graveyard of Giants. I really did enjoy playing on that, First of all, because the map was actually very, very big, but it didn't look like it was very big. It had this sort of undulating terrain with lots of debris in the way, and of course, a massive Star Destroyer comes down, and there's a downed Rebel ship there as well. And I really liked the way that, even though the map looked absolutely huge, because of all that terrain going up and down and all those obstacles in the way, it never really felt like you were just in the middle of a giant battlefield. You didn't feel like you were out in the open all the time, which meant those little pockets of battles could just go on all over the map. And for the new game mode, Turning Point, which I'm playing in the background again here, I think this map is just absolutely perfect. I've always maintained that Battlefront has some really, really good infantry combat in this game. And I don't really focus too much about what's going on in the sky. I don't really bother with vehicles too much. But the player-to-player -player combat is very good and satisfying. And Turning Point focuses on infantry combat. So this map and mode go together perfectly. Now, in general, I like to focus on the larger game modes available in Star Wars Battlefront. We now have Turning Point for the Jakku DLC, but I think DICE should really put Turning Point on all of the base game maps as well. That would give us a third big game mode on those four maps in the base game, which right now aren't being used for Turning Point. That's a big opportunity they could use right there. I also really like playing Walker Assault. It's probably my favourite game mode in the game right now. And I do like playing Supremacy from time to time as well. And it might have escaped some people's notice that there's a second free map available with the Battle of Jakku, which is called Goazan Badlands. This map is much smaller than Graveyard of Giants and, as you'd expect, incorporates all of the smaller game modes on offer in Battlefront. The map takes place in almost like a canyon that's got some rocky outcrops on one side, a downed ATAT in the middle, it's got a base up at one end, and there's lots of changes of elevation on this map, and again, lots of debris for you to hide behind. There seems to be a theme between the two, where the idea of Jakku is that the, all the ships come crashing down, so I guess all of that rubble that's scattered there does make it very, very good for the smaller game modes. You want cover in smaller game modes, especially when you're playing Blast, which is essentially Team Deathmatch. You need that cover because enemies can come from multiple different directions. And if there wasn't any debris scattered everywhere, then it would be a very barren map indeed. I spoke to Dennis Branval, who is the lead multiplayer designer on Star Wars Battlefront. I spoke to him at the Battle of Jakku Live from London event, and he said, and this surprised me actually, that the Blast game mode, essentially Team Deathmatch, is the most popular mode in Star Wars Battlefront right now. So, even though Walker Assault is just absolutely fantastic and plays out the Battle of Hoth exactly as you'd expect it to, and then you've got maps like Endor with Walker Assault on it and Supremacy using the whole forest. No, Blast is the best game mode played right now by Star Wars Battlefront players. And that was just really odd to me because I thought you'd want to experience everything that's going on in this game. But no, people seem to just really want to kill each other as Stormtroopers and Rebels. Overall, I really like the Battle of Jakku DLC for Star Wars Battlefront. In case you didn't know, the Battle of Jakku takes place 29 years before its appearance in the new film, Star Wars The Force Awakens. So the battle that you're watching doesn't actually happen in the new film, which is kind of strange, but the setting is still there. And I really enjoyed myself at the Battle of Jakku live from London event as well. I did meet a couple of you there and it was really cool to see your faces and, and sort of say hi because I've never really got to do that before. But it was really enjoyable and the event as a whole was really, really fun. 
got to meet some really cool community members, people from EA, people from PlayStation, just lots of different people, and it was great to meet all of them. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, if you could leave me a like, that would be absolutely fantastic. And leave me some comments down below as well, letting me know what you think of the Battle of Jakku DLC. But until next time, my name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.